think it's fair to say that was a very unfortunate defeat, unlucky defeat. Yeah, I think so. I think we, we started in the ascendancy. I think they scored against the runner play. Again, a, a goal kick we need to, to deal with better. Um, a slight daydreaming moment between us. Um, and we, we, had a, we had a couple of moments like that during the game where we... Um, you know, switched off momentarily, and this is this league you get punished for. But as a whole, the game, when you overlook at it, um, I thought we had a lot of possession, lots of crosses in the box. Yes, they like that, they defend that very well, but their keepers, you know, I think there's multiple times that they're clearing it off the line or it's in and around, and on, on another day that could have gone in. Um, it's difficult to talk about refereeing decisions straight after the game and the emotion of it, but we probably felt quite aggrieved that, uh, you know, one of their players stayed on the pitch. Um, I, I stand corrected if uh, you know if I've got that wrong, but it was you know the first foul was definitely a booking, and then you know he probably got booked for the one which was, was you know the least the least uh, of, the, of 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 the offences really. But um, I said we can't we can't do anything about that, and like I said I stand corrected if I've got that got that call wrong. Um, but they were big moments in the game, and um, you know we got we got. A, we got to make the most of our of our possession. We got to make the best of our moments. Um, you know they did with theirs, and we didn't. We had the same here against Solihull. Uh, we started well, and then we conceded. And uh, you know it's something we got to, we got to work hard on. That we're we're switched on at all times with the right body shape, with the right distances. Um, you know out of possession can be a little bit more black and white with our positioning. Um, so we can certainly fix that, which is pleasing. That, that you know it's fixable where we've conceded from today. Uh, probably just. Fell short of that that ruthless edge in the in the final third. I mean, Justin's done ever so well with you know not many minutes the you know the Tuesday game. Probably just felt in his legs a little bit like we left him out there as long as, as long as we could. You know, we've made attacking we've made attacking um, chain chances to try and make the best <clears throat> best best of the situation. We've certainly got more attacking players on on the you know to finish the game and, and to start the game. So we're, we're certainly on the front foot. But maybe Bromley's goal probably we played into their hands a little bit because then they could sit back and soak it up a little bit more so uh, and then and then they become a threat on the counter because they've got good quality players all over the pitch so um, you know we've hopefully learned a valuable lesson we know we've got to be more ruthless in and around the box and and then we also need to not switch off on, on certain moments but I'm, I'm pleased as a whole with the group of the you know how we're growing as, as, a, as a team when you have unlucky moments in a game like today and, and, and it was quite a good performance is it easier to work on in training during the week? Uh, I think so. I, don't know. Look, I think you know we always analyse, we're all bru always brutal with ourselves, we're always looking to improve. That's the way we work. That's the way we always will, and uh, we'll do the same. You know, sometimes your first thought of a game isn't quite the same when you when you watch it back. Um, but the overriding feeling was, you know, we had some really good moments in the game. We've put the ball. You know, how many crosses? How many corners? You know, we must be high on the on the on the on the stats count. Final third entries. Uh, and high on, on, on possession as well. So, um, look, we're far from the finish line, of course, I say it every week, but you can see that the boys are fighting and working, and, and hopefully the more we refine, the more we'll get better. We saw Joe Partington and Ryan Glover come off after receiving a bit of treatment on the pitch. Can you give us any updates yet? On yeah, those? that was that was a, a shame to lose your, your captain in the centre of the park so early on in the game. So that, 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 that was a frustrating one, that is an, an injury. Ryan's was more cramped. Um, so you know he's, he's, he wasn't an injury, so to speak. But you know it's something we need to monitor and manage manage that because we want him to finish in 90 minutes. You know at Chesterfield, we had to enforce that change, and we've had to enforce one again today. Why it's full of running and energy, and later on in the game we need that even more. So um, you know it's something we'll we'll work work with him on. Um, like I said, we had good options from the bench. We just needed to just really try and turn that screw and uh, we couldn't quite do that. Well, from to, um, from Monday, obviously, we will have one more member in training with, with Frank Vincent coming in, so that, that's a positive. And also, we saw Francis Amati as well. Yeah, so it was great to get Franny on today, and I think you saw that, that run where he nearly just, just couldn't quite evade that last tackle after leaving a few on the, you know leaving a few in his wake so you know he showed a little glimpse of what he's about there uh, yeah Frank Vincent coming in uh, you know is, is well timed obviously with parts coming off injured as well so um, yeah we know we know that we we need to strengthen in that area Frank certainly does that he's a player I know well you know he's a player with experience uh, at this level and the le level above um, you know you know I know how hungry and Full of heart and running he is and he's technically good on the ball as well so I feel that we've got a real good asset there and uh, we look forward to working with him. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. 
Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.